Hello. Hello. My Hello. name Hello. is <laughs> Dennis Bartash, and uh, this is my aunt, Viola Smith Schmitz. My mother's name was Schmitz, and they were part of an all-girl orchestra. Viola was the drummer, and they started out in Wisconsin, in Mount Calvary, with an all-girl orchestra, eight girls. And they traveled throughout Wisconsin, and then they joined the vaudeville circuit of Major Bowes, and they were the backup orchestra for Major Bowes. After that, Vi went on, we call her Vi affectionately, rather than Viola. We, we, we always said Aunt Vi. But anyhow, Vi and my mother formed an all-girl orchestra called the Coquettes with a couple of girls from Wisconsin and girls that they knew from various parts of the United States. And they performed all over the United States in the late 40s, in the 40s, or uh, late 30s, 40s. And then when my mother got married, Vi went on to go with Phil Spatonley and his all-girl orchestra, and she was the featured drummer. And uh, after that, she went on to Broadway with the Cabaret and uh, Liza Minnelli and Joel Gray, and she was the Kit Kat drummer. And after that, she went on the road with the Cabaret, and then she retired. And Vi, I have a surprise for you. The Wisconsin area music industry, on its 40th anniversary, awarded you Viola Schmitz Smith the Hall of Fame Award, and this is it. And I, I'm presenting it to you. And uh, it is heavy. Wow. It's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even lift it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful award. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, of note, uh, Viola's uh, sister. Uh, Sally Ellenbeck and uh, Shauna Stone wrote the music for the opening of the Milwaukee Auditorium in the late 40s. That was uh, her sister, Sally Ellenbeck. And later on, she lived in Milwaukee and she played organ in the church. So the family always was musically inclined. My mother, Mildred, played uh, bass fiddle and uh, she played in the, uh, in the Fond du Lac Civic Symphony and the Oshkosh Civic Symphony. Also, Vi is listed in Wikipedia and if you look on YouTube under Viola Smith Drummer, there's quite a few entries about Vi Viola. So what do you think? <laughs> you said it all. There's nothing left to talk about. Nothing left to talk about. <laughs> no. We're sorry that Vi couldn't make it to the uh, award ceremony, and I hope this video will give you a little bit of an idea of my aunt. She's 107 years old, and she gets around better than I do. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, that's it. I also wanted to mention that Viola is now living with the peacemakers in Costa Mesa. The peacemakers have a 
very famous country store and they're on the internet they sell quilts and if you're ever in costa mesa you have to stop by the country store and visit the peacemakers they're a fantastic group of people and vi is blessed to be living with them so Anything else, Vi? That's sure that you've got it all there in the air. That's it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> okay.